Hey everyone, welcome back. On this video today, I'm going to be repairing a crack in this vehicle windshield with one of these Rain-X windshield repair kits that I picked up off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description in case you're interested in having a look at it. It was like $10, pretty close to 10 bucks, and it's uh, got some pretty good reviews. This is an old vehicle. Windshield has lots of little tiny chips in it. There's about four or five of them that I really want to uh, to try to repair. Now I'm not concerned about whether I can still see the crack or not. All I'm trying to do is stop them from spreading so I don't have to buy a new windshield. So let's take this uh, Rain-X windshield repair kit over to the workbench. We'll open it up and we'll see what's in, in the kit. And then uh, we'll get to repairing the crack. All right, these kits are supposed to have everything in it that you need to do the job. Instruction manual, some of these clear sheets for repairing cracks and chips I suppose. A little device for connecting this to the windshield bottle of resin it looks like there's a little bit of the resin liquid that's dripped out of it and a plunger and there's also a little razor blade i'm going to go through the instructions and then we'll uh, get to this windshield crack or chip repair this is the biggest chip that i'm going to be fixing and it's just a little bit over one inch in diameter first step is to just take the razor blade and break out any loose particles of glass that may still be in the chip. Then just wipe it down and make sure it's clean where you're going to install the suction cups. Then we'll press on the suction cup device, make sure that it's centered over the hole and firmly pressed onto the windshield. You can also look through that hole if you look straight on and make sure that you've got it lined up and centered over the chip. Here's a look at one of the smaller chips that I've done. Then you install this center tube and if you look from inside you can tell that you've got it pressed down firmly against the windshield. Small chips take three drops and larger chips take six drops. And then insert the plunger. And again, you can see from the other side as you put the plunger in, it kind of flares out that piece of rubber. Now I used too much of the resin on this one and I need to press that a little firmer against the windshield to keep it from running out the bottom. You can t kind of take your finger and press on the back side to kind of help work out the air bubbles and let the resin flow into the crack. Just a light press. Clean up any of the uh, excess resin that you may have spilled. After that sits for five minutes, then you pull the plunger back out to let any air pockets out and then reinsert it. Again, after you do this, let it set for about another five to 10 minutes, just so it has time to work the resin as far into the crack as possible. After it's set for about 10 minutes, then you're going to remove the plunger. And again, I had excess resin here, so wipe that up and make sure it's just make sure it's kind of cleaned up there. Remove that plunger. And then you're going to pull the little tabs on these suction cups to release them from the windshield, and you can remove the plunger device. Wipe
wipe it down so that it's relatively clean. And then apply one drop to the center of the chip. And you can see I used too much. Then you're going to put one of these plastic sheets over the top of it. No pressure or anything, just let it set and it's ready. Here's a look at the small chips. I had about four of these that I fixed. And that's after I've applied the drop and the sheet. Okay, I've got the windshield chips and cracks all sealed up with the resin. Five little chips and that one star crack that was about an inch or so in diameter. And basically all you're doing with this is you're replacing the void in the glass or the air pocket with resin so that moisture can't get in there and expand and contract with different temperature changes and, and make the crack worse. So the next step is to pull this vehicle out into the sun, sunlight. UV rays from the sun is what cures that resin. So you can either use a UV light, which I don't have, or you can just use the sun. And it says five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna probably pull it out there and let it sit in the sun for about a half hour. And we'll come back and look at it at that point. All right, I just pulled the vehicle in out of the sun and I'm starting to uh, finish up this process. So basically, I can tell just by pressing on it that all of the resin is hardened up. You wanna just peel the protective sheet off and then take your razor blade 90 degrees to the windshield and it just says you don't have to be gentle, just scrape off the extra resin and it'll come off in white chunks or like a white powder. You just keep scraping, try to keep your razor blade 90 degrees to the windshield until it's all gone. All the extra resin will be off of the area. And this one is almost invisible. I doubt that you can pick it up on the camera. I can just barely see a little chip area. But it did fill the void with resin. And I'm sure that one will be good. I doubt if it will spread right there. I've got the windshield completed, all scraped off. After using the uh, Rain-X windshield repair kit, I 100% recommend the product. Uh, anybody can, can do that. It doesn't take a lot of time and a lot of effort, and it doesn't cost a lot of money. So I'll put a link in the description for the Rain-X windshield repair kit that I used. I appreciate you watching the video. Do me a favor, if you've made it this far, don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next video.